A lot of you might be already aware of this AI coding tool or platform called as Tempo AI. So basically you can go ahead and give a simple text prompt and create highly complex full stack websites that includes all the complex stuff like authentication, database, payments and all that. And now the team has went ahead and introduced a new feature within the platform and it's called MCP App Stores. So basically how it works is that you can now go ahead and incorporate third party tools and services into the app that you're building in just a single click. For example, let's say you want to incorporate some AI features into your app. You can go ahead and enable the open AI or let's say perplexity MCP server with the press of a button and incorporate it into your app instantly. Or let's say you want to add authentication. You can use the clerk MCP server or let's say you want to include scraping, web scraping and let's say crawling kind of features, you can add the Firecrawl MCP server or let's say you want to add recurring payments to your app, you can go ahead and add the Stripe MCP server. And the best part, you can incorporate all these with just a single press of a button and that is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So this right here is Tempo AI and the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to Tempo AI. And by the way, I have created several other videos covering how to use Tempo AI and if you want to watch that, you can click the i button or links in the description below. So first thing first, go ahead and sign up for a new account and log into the same. And here I'm now logged into Tempo AI and I'll go ahead and click on this option that says generate an app. And now I can go ahead and explain exactly what I want to build in this input box right here. Select the framework and click next and I can begin that way. And to keep things simple, I'll go ahead and try to create a simple app using the platform. So I can go ahead and give a simple prompt something like create a website that allows users to create clickworthy and catchy titles for YouTube videos using AI. So the user should be given the option to enter the main keyword and also target audience and the AI creates catchy titles that they can use in their video. So basically I'm planning to create a YouTube video title generator app powered by AI using this platform. So I have given this uh, initial prompt. I'll select the framework as we react. And for now, I can keep it as it is and click on next. And by the way, if you want to set up your project with authentication and payments and database, you can configure it in here and you can refer to the other videos that I have already created in the channel. But for now, I'll go ahead and click on the next button and let's wait. And now as you can see, the AI has started working on the same YouTube title generator and it is going through the initial PRD. And once that's done, it will go ahead and start coding the same and create the product or let's say the actual functionality that we asked for. And here you can find a user flow diagram and all that. And while Tempo is creating the app, I'll show you how we can actually use the MCP servers and all the MCP that is available within the app store. And before that, the first thing that you gotta do is to click on the Superbase icon right here. And you need to connect your project to a Superbase project. And it is pretty simple. First of all, head over to superbase.com and go ahead and sign up for a new account. Or if you already have an account, just go ahead and log in and create a new project. So you can go ahead and create a new project. So once you have the project ready, you can head back to Tempo and then click on this connect Superbase button right here. And it will now open this pop-up box. And all you need to do is to select your organization, click authorize Tempo Labs. And now I need to select the project that I want to connect. So in this case, I want to connect the new project. So this one right here, I can click on connect and let's wait. So there you go. Superbase connection is successful. And next up, if you go ahead and click on this option right here that says app store, you'll be able to find all these apps that is available in this app store. For example, I can click on this browse option right here and it says connect your app to third party services like payments, messaging and more. And here you can find all these MCP apps that is available within the platform and you have a lot of them. For example, here we have active campaign for sending messages or emails. Then we have Anthropic to incorporate cloud models into your app. We have Cal.com for scheduling or let's say Clerk for incorporating authentication, Convex for adding a backend or let's say 11 Labs for adding text to speech features or let's say you have Firecrawl for adding crawling and web scraping kind of features. Then we have Freshdesk, we have Gemini, Loops, Mailgun, Make for adding no code automation kind of stuff. Then we have Meta, then we have OpenAI, then we have Perplexity, then we have Posthog, Recent, again, our email platform, SendGrid. And if you want to, let's say, incorporate SERP API, you have options for that as well. And next up, if you want to, let's say, add payments, recurring payments to your app, you can add the Stripe MCP app, or let's say you have Versal to deploy it, I mean, you have a lot of these options, right? So in this case, we are actually planning to incorporate the open AI MCP server to incorporate the title generation part. Okay. And normally if you want to, let's say, add 
open AI API into your app or let's say you want to incorporate the same or let's say you want to incorporate any of these apps for that matter. So here we have a lot of them, right? Normally you will have to go ahead and copy the API code, refer to the documentation, copy extensive list of, let's say the code snippet and all that, then pass them to the AI and ask it to code the same. And then you will run into errors and then you will have to refer to the documentation again and then incorporate the same. And it is such a tedious process, right? Well, this is where the MCP app store makes it extremely simple. So first thing that I'll go ahead and do is to open and add the open AI MCP server. So I can click on this install button right here. And now it is asking me to enter my open AI API key. And all I gotta do is to open platforms.openai.com, sign up for a new account, create the API key, and I'll copy the same. And I'll pass the same in here and click on the connect button. And let's see, it says setting up integration. So let's wait and it says connected successfully. So we have added open AI features into our app. And now you can go ahead and ask the AI to incorporate real functionality of generating titles using open AI. Let me show you how. So as you can see here, you can find open AI and it is added. And if you want to, let's say, add another, let's say MCP server, you can click on this browse option right here and install the same. For example, let's say I want to add convex. So I can click on the install button, drop in my API key and I should be good to go. And I'll close this one for now. And now I can head back and this right here, okay, maybe I can open the preview of the app that the AI has generated. And this is how our app looks for now. But right now we haven't really asked the AI to incorporate the AI features. So obviously it won't work now. And the thing is I can go ahead and click on this AI chat option, create a new chat and I can go ahead and ask, could you please use open AI MCP server to generate actual titles using AI? Okay, could you please use open AI MCP server to generate actual title using AI? And this is the prompt that will give. And before that, as you can see, here we have open AI MCP server added. And now I can go ahead and send this message and let's wait for it to load the same. All right, so seems like that's now done. So I can head back and refresh the app once. And now all you gotta do is to give the details and the feature of generating YouTube title using the platform or let's say open AI should work. And all I gotta do is to enter the topic. So in this case, let's say, let's put it as keyword research or maybe let's say video editing. I'll put it as video editing, motion graphics and all that. Target audience is going to be, let's say video editors. And now I can go ahead and click on this option that says generate catchy titles. And let's see. Okay, it says generating titles. There you go. Transform your videos, expert tips for motion graphics editing master video editing techniques, tips and tricks, boost your editing skills, essential video editing tips. It has even added a nice thumbnail in here as well. Create stunning motion graphics with video editing, pro secrets for seamless video editing and motion graphics. I mean, the app that we developed is now suggesting as titles by using OpenAI and we just enabled the OpenAI MCP server and that's pretty much all that we did. And now I can maybe go ahead and give a different topic. Let's say how to start a blog and keywords will be blogging blog how to start a blog etc target audience is going to be let's say bloggers and now i can click on generate catchy titles and let's see okay there you go beginner's guide to starting a blog master the basics of blog easy steps to launch your blog kickstart your blog ultimate blogging 101 get started today and now this is how simple it is with the press of a button i was able to incorporate open ai into my app using the app store right within tempo ai and not just open AI, you can now go ahead and incorporate any others by using the same technique. And next step, let's just say I want to create a web scraping website using Tempo AI and I want to use the Firecrawl MCP server for the same. So first step, I'll go ahead and say create a web scraping website and I'll leave it as react and all that looks good. And now I can click on the next button. And now the project is being loaded. In the meantime, I'll go ahead and click on the Superbase option, click on Connect Superbase, and I'll select the exact same project that we used earlier. So click on Authorize Tempo Labs. Okay, so it's done. And now I can go to the App Store. And okay. Okay, I wanted to select the project, click on Connect. And now I can head over to the App Store, click on Browse. And now I need to find the Firecrawl MCP server. Okay, so there you go. Here we have Firecrawl and I'll click on the install button. 
and now I need to grab my Firecrawl API key and add the same in here. So I'll go ahead and log into the dashboard and copy my API key, head back and paste the same in here and click on connect. And that's it. I have added Firecrawl into my app and I can click on close. And now as you can see, Firecrawl is added to our app. Next up, I can open the chat and go ahead and say, Please add real web scraping capabilities to our app using Firecrawl MCP server. Alright, so that looks good. And now I can go ahead and click on the send button and wait for the AI to incorporate the actual web scraping functionality to our app. So let's wait. Alright, so there you go. So here we have our web scraping application ready and I'll click on this button right here to open it up in a new screen and hopefully it should work. So it says web scraping application scrape websites using Firecrawl API and I can click on start scraping. So this is like a simple website, not complicated stuff, authentication or anything as such. So they're asking us to enter the URL and click on the start scraping button. So let's try to scrape the Firecrawl website itself. So I can copy the link, head back to the app that we created, add the same in here and click on start scraping. And it says scraping, so let's wait. So here we have a progress bar and there you go. All of the content from the page is now scraped and here we can find the content, the HTML, and let's say the links and also the screenshot. Okay, screenshot is broken for some reason. And if I want to, let's say, run a new test, I can click on new search. And maybe this time around, I'll try to crawl the Tempo website. So tempo.new, start scraping, and let's see. Again, the progress bar, and it says scraping in progress. Let's wait, there you go. Build React apps 10 times faster with AI. We have HTML. Okay, all the code in HTML and every single links on that particular page as well. So web scraper using Firecrawl is also working. So here we have added the same. And next up, if you want to, let's say, add any other MCP server for that matter, you can click on this browse button right here and navigate and find all these MCP servers and add it to your app in a single click. For example, let's say you want to, let's say, what one, add 11 labs to your app. You can go ahead and click on this install button right here and it will open this pop-up. And all you need to do is to drop in your 11 labs API key, click on the connect button. And now you can go ahead and incorporate various 11 labs related functionalities to your app and that too in a single click. So that's how powerful the new MCP app store feature right within Tempo AI is. And next up, I went ahead and added the clerk MCP app. So I went ahead and added the same into this project right here. And if I go to the installed section, as you can see here, I have added clerk. And after adding the same, I went ahead and told the AI to add clerk authentication to the app and use the clerk components for login and sign up. And now I had to copy paste this secret key that is clerk secret key initially when it asked me to configure the MCP server. Then it asked me to provide the clerk publishable key right here. I went ahead and copied this one right here and pasted the same in here as well. And now as you can see, the AI has went ahead and incorporated clerk authentication into our app and now if we visit our website and click on the start scraping button right here it should redirect us to the clerk authentication page and now I need to sign in to use the app and now I can click on continue with Google and let's say this one right here and I can click on continue and now once authenticated it should now redirect me back to the scraper page and I should be able to scrape website as usual. So there you go, here we have the web scraper and now I can go ahead and let's say put some URL in here and click on start scraping button and everything should work as it is. And in this project right now, we have added two MCP servers. They are the Firecrawl MCP server and the Clerk MCP server. And as you can see, it says scraping in progress and here we have the content, the HTML links and all that. And if I head back to Clerk and click on users, I should be able to see the same okay there you go so this one right here is the one that we logged in using now and by the way this one right here was an existing project so that is the reason you're seeing a different creator date in here and now creating a new clerk project is pretty simple you head over to clerk.com and sign up for a new account click on this button right here click on create application and now you can go ahead and create an application grab the api key and stuff head back to tempo supply all these details in here add the mcp server and with the press of a button you can add authentication into your app 
and it is that easy. And now if you want to learn more about the MCP app store within Tempo Labs and if you want to let's say get an in-depth tutorial or let's say different use cases and tutorials and things as such, you can click the second link in the description below and head over to the MCP app store documentation page and here you will find a lot of this information. So you can refer to that and incorporate the same. So this is how simple and powerful the MCP App Store feature right within Tempo AI is. And as of now, there are more than 40 plus different third party services that you can integrate into your app and the list is growing. And now that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. So with MCP, you can now add features to your app way easier than earlier. So normally if you wanted to, let's say, incorporate a feature into your app, you will have to go through an extensive documentation, copy the API snippet code, then go ahead and give it to the AI, then the AI will run into some errors and it was such a tedious process, right? And now with the MCP App Store feature, you can incorporate all these services into your app in a single click. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next 